Uh, we need Turkish items, and can we have you looking at objects, mm -hmm. doing things, not hugging or uh, looking as if you're tagging? The collection consists of many, many different countries. And in fact, we would like to have every single country in the world represented in it. It goes from prehistory to the present day. So the oldest textile that we have in the collection is actually Anatolian and comes from the Turkish, the oldest in the world. And it's here in Leiden. And it's very, very small. But the story of textiles, the story of culture that it tells is enormous. So in the collection, we go from Afghanistan to Zanzibar, literally every single continent. We also have a Turkish collection, but I am ashamed to say it's not as big as it could be because Turkish dress, Turkish regional dress is vast. It's interesting and totally underrepresented and underestimated. It's something that needs to be changed. This is the oldest item that we have in the TRC collection. It actually comes from Anatolia, more, speci more specifically from Chatal Huyuk, and is approximately 7,000 years old. It comes from one piece of cloth, but the condition is so poor. Well, after 7,000 years, what can you expect? It's in fragments. But the story it tells of the ancient history of textiles, of the skills of these people who made it 7,000 years ago, is huge. We have Turkish socks and slippers. And these were on display in an exhibition about hand-knitted socks a few years ago at the TRC and were very, very popular. Silent language that everybody speaks, everybody is involved in. There are very few naked people around. And yet, there are so many dialects and that's where it can go wrong. But if you're in the know, then you can see a pair of socks like this. You know where it came from. You know who wore it or wears it. Are they men, women, nomads, villagers? What is their social status? Are they looking for a husband? All of this type of information is incorporated in the clothing that people wear. This surrounding um, Turkey. So we're building up a collection of hand embroidered Ottoman style pieces um, from Greece, Macedonia. People tend to expect textiles to be boring, but when you've got the women who were thinking about these and producing things, they're not. They're intriguing, they're colourful, they make you smile. And in this world, we need a few more smiles. So two very different patterns, and then they would have been cut up down here, and she had two pieces. Turkish collection has been made in various ways. Sometimes we have a student uh, who has gone out to Turkey. We had one particular girl who was a, a theology student and she was very interested in veils and veiling in Turkey. So she deliberately went looking for modern Muslim clothing that reflect today's ideas. There was one particular garment that looks like a 1920s apron with a little bib and a piece of cloth here. And yet that turned out to be the sleeve panel of a 19th century ladies garment. Why? What happened to it? Who changed it into an apron for a servant? Did they realise the beauty of this object? Or was the rest of the garment so badly destroyed and damaged over the years? This was all they could do with it. The stories behind the garments are as important as the garments themselves. We would love to be able to expand the Turkish collection, expand the colour, expand the knowledge and present it in exhibitions, publications, courses, workshops and just make people aware of this amazing cultural history that you have. Patterns and motifs and colour combinations can make you feel so very, very different in different situations. So African motifs make me want to go, yes! <laughs> and they're happy.
and outgoing and it's wonderful and if you look at some of the Japanese motifs for example then you go like this they're very inward looking and very precise and very repetitive and very little movement with Turkish textiles you have both you have some pieces that you think I wonder what happened there and other pieces that the color combinations the embroideries the motifs oh you think yes this is from a happy people you know I'm ready to teach I'm not sure whether you know no, I think this is too well wrapped good mm. properly wrapped yeah. yeah those are the books that I write wow and next week So bringing people back together again after the war and celebrating. And so the story of women's lives, children, girls' lives are told in these skirts. Oh, do you want to see this? Or yeah. do you want a nice um, 